he loves to joke and play and laugh. Uh, school isn't necessarily on his top list of things that he enjoys doing. His teacher recognized that he wasn't progressing the same as the rest of the students. And she had, you know, lots of experience with students with challenges and recommended that we start looking into how we can get support for him outside of the classroom. One of our friends has another friend with a child with dyslexia who participated in the University of Washington study. As I read more about it, we applied and then that's how we, you know, got connected with Linda Moon Bell. First day we went over and visited all the parents who were in there, kind of an orientation kind of thing and they kind of laid it out how it was and I mean, they just communicated so well. They described it as looking for uh, neural pathways that they that the dyslexic brain uses different paths into the parts of the brain that you need to retain information for reading. And for reading to be easy, you need to be able to hold on to those symbols in your brain. And before the study, if so if Kai was reading a book and it had the word cat on the first page and then that word was repeated, he would have to literally sound out the word the next time he saw it and the next time he saw it and the next time he saw it. And so his brain was working really hard every time he had to read because it was cat every time. We had four different study visits with an MRI. Um, we then did an evaluation at Linda Mood Bell and uh, learned even more about the Seeing Stars program. And um, that was also helpful. With the air riding and other you know, ways of retaining those symbols and images in his brain, it became automatic. So it wasn't work anymore because of the neural pathways that he built. It's funny as we learned about the whole thing, because I'm dyslexic, grew up dyslexic, and there wasn't the kind of program that Linda Mood built it on. So it's just a lot of hard work and always a struggle. So seeing just the improvement from day one to the end of the program for Kai was amazing and literally areas I never got to growing up. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's, and when they're describing what the brain does and how he sees things is like, oh my gosh, it, it all makes sense to me. Um, we knew that Kai had really accomplished a big uh, commitment and, and big effort. So we wanted to celebrate that and um, where he was participating, it was a short walk to a um, place where we could park our boat. So we brought our boat, we traveled by boat, and then walked up to the school and he did his four hours of session. And then after, when he came down to the boat, it was all decorated um, with streamers and balloons. And we had, you know, a toast and, and celebrated his accomplishment. Well, it's amazing that in an eight, eight week period, you can go from being that far behind to two level. Yeah, where you're or to be. ahead. Or ahead, mm -hmm. which is like, it was mind boggling. We scheduled a meeting for him to sit down with his teacher and um, two of the special ed teachers and go through, this is the new Kai. I know, you know, here's the Kai that you knew um, before the summer, and this is where he is now. It was amazing. 